If I were chicken, this is how I'd want to end my life. In a nice, briny, beautiful nice, briny, citrus bath. Nice, briny, delicious citrus bath, <laughs> served with, with dignity in this beautiful dining room. Today, we have the pleasure of being at Crown Shy, Chef James Kent's restaurant. Amazing, talented chef. Been at the Nomad, the chef at 11 Madison Park. Today, I'm going to learn his technique on this delicious chicken. Really excited. We're here. Chef James. What's up, Chef? What's up? Hello. How are you? Welcome, my dear. Thank you. Uh, where are we today? So we are at Crown Shy. Crown Shy. We are in the financial district of New York City. Okay. You grew up in this neighborhood, correct? I grew up in this neighborhood, yeah. History in the making. History in the making. Yes, sir. What is the plate of food we're making? Uh, so we are going to do the Crown Shy chicken. Awesome. With our Crown Shy hot sauce. Okay, so we are cooking chicken. We have some whole birds over here. Cool. It's a really simple protein that everyone has a reference point for. There's yeah. a restaurant on the upper west side called Florida Mayo. Okay. Which is a Chino Cuban restaurant. Chino Cuban. Chino. So they're basically Chinese people who live in Cuba. Okay. They came to New York and they have this like chicken that's brined and, and roasted and we kind of like took inspiration from that. Awesome. We've tried like five or six different brines and marinades um, and we landed on the one that that's on the menu and it's acidic and fruity and citrusy but and spicy. That's a lot of like flavor to it. So I brought my sketchbook and I think you said you have one as well. So <laughs> the most badass black book. Jeez, it's like double the size of mine. I'm a graffiti artist also. Oh my god. So this is my black book and I have a whenever we work on food we document it really well. Yes. And you see like these early stages of things and, and, and it's really just a really rough idea. I like I wanna really like be thoughtful about the food that we yes. do and like think it through and like have my team poke holes in it. Oftentimes it takes a long time to get it to the point where we're we're okay with it going to the menu. We can't rush creativity. <laughs> <laughs> cannot rush creativity. So we are cooking chicken. We break the bird in half. Uh, we debone the leg, but still keeping the whole half bird intact. But we glaze it with citrus jus and then build this like beautiful salad on top. So we have little baby romaine, we have sliced jalapeno, we have cilantro, and then we have uh, watermelon radish. And then we drop a little canel of crown chai hot sauce. Nice. And then a little bit of citrus jus. Sauce girl, okay. Excellent. It's a good way to start this book off. 100%. Oh. It's got some gloves for you, Chef. Thank you. Small hands, big heart. Exactly. That's what they say. No one says that. Uh, so we want to essentially cut the bird in half. Um, and we want to keep the cage on the breast. The bone on the thigh and the leg gets deboned. But we want to keep the foot on. The head comes off. Okay. The bones, we basically take the flat off and okay. just leave the little, little wing buddy. The little gun. Okay. Yeah. What size are these birds? Um, these are probably two and a half pound, three yeah, pound birds. Pound. So you either want to, you want to take a knife and, and cut through the cage. Okay. Or scissors. Okay, from the top. Yeah, yeah, from the top. Okay. Ah! Cutting down the backbone. The idea at this point, so keep this cage on, because you want to keep this breast really moist while you're cooking. Okay. But we like the idea of this being boneless. Like, I'm not a big fan of, like, chewing on leg bones. Yeah, makes sense. So the goal is to... Bung. Chef, you beat me. I got the dull scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Is this regulation check. size or what? Hey. This mine's not as nice as yours. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Good job, chef. <laughs> this will be acceptable. This goes on the menu. We're selling this one. Excellent. What does the citrus do for the chicken? Is it similar to well, like fish where it cooks it? It cooks it a bit. So it's a ratio of salt to liquid. Okay. And, and a 4% brine is, 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 is a good standard brine for marinating. Lemon, orange, lime. Grapefruit, ginger. This is the uh, ferment for the hot sauce. And then we throw in a few pieces of star anise, star anise. black pepper, salt. We have some habaneros. 
just whole, Yeah. no worries. No, and then the more you blend it, the hotter it's gonna be. So the idea is we just wanna kind of break up. Sort of not breaking down the chilies too All much. All that much, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's really that. You can hear the kind of pepper breaking down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and you see it, the idea is like, there's still bits and, and chunks and, and stuff in it. Marinate for 24 hours. Okay. We saw that any further, it starts to cook the bird. Like the citrus starts to like, think of like a ceviche. You know, okay. like it yes. starts to really cook it through. Yes. Yeah. Cool, because chef. So those, chicken's done. <laughs> we just pour the marinade out. Just throw it over your shoulder. <laughs> 24 hours later. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back, chicken. Little guy. Little buddy. What's up there, little dude. <laughs> so you can see, kind of show you the back end of it. Yeah. Like it basically like, it, it, it starts cooking. Absolutely. It starts cooking the meat. The texture is completely changed. And, and it's definitely, it's important that we keep the bone on because it protects the flesh from the, the cook of the citrus. Gotcha. But then also during the cooking process, it protects it from, from uh, overcooking. Okay. We take the bird out, we dry it. We dry it for another like 12 hours. Okay. At the very least. So moisture is the enemy of like yes. crispiness. Yes. So the idea is that we dry it as long as we can and okay. we lay it out, lay it out on a tray. Beautiful. How do we cook this chicken? So this guy's grilled. So first, a little bit of fat. Any particular fat uh, you use? We use um, grapeseed oil to cook and olive oil to cook. Cool. Um, and then basically, you want to cook it on the skin side down for maybe like six, seven, eight, nine minutes. Okay. You cross hatch the bird, get a really good render on the skin um, and then throw it in the oven. And the oven is very hot, so, so at that point it, 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 it like crisps and roasts the rest, of the, the rest of the bird. What temperature do you cook the chicken at the rest hot. of the way? Hot. So this is at 450. 450. How many chickens do you think you sell a night? Uh, we, we, we serve like 60 is probably the record, 65. One of our cooks, he documented every bird he cooked. This is the thousandth, thousandth bird that I've cooked since I came on the station. One thousand. And it was like two, three weeks. Oh, the aroma is amazing. You can smell the sort of citrus caramelizing on the grill. And then, so here, so you wanna, so kind of get that cross hatch. And this is when you you let the, let the foot come down to start getting some color. Do a lot of your guests eat the foot? Some people send it back. We are here to make people happy. Mm -hmm. And if someone says that they don't want a foot, we take it off. Wow. My cooks would have like tongs, but I, I only work with little tiny tweezers. Still like this fine dining. Fine dining chef fun, you. Yeah, exactly. Does this go in the oven? Yeah, this goes in the oven. Okay. Yeah. Hot oven. Bye, birdie. Yeah, peace out. <laughs> it, it's pretty simple. It's, it's nice. peppers, onions, Love garlic, simple. and then habaneros and chilies. Awesome. So it's really just about kind of cutting in half and then cleaning out. This ferment is 3% salt to a liter of water. Okay. You just throw these in. Okay. Cover it, cap it, fill it with water. In about 10 days, it turns into this. Okay. So essentially you start with roasting the raw peppers. These are some of the chopped fermented pieces. Oh, that aroma is amazing. Uh, we add citrus to it also and cook it down. Okay. So we're gonna blend this and Excellent. make it perfect. Perfect. Cool. Blendy. Haha, we made it good. Awesome. I would add a little bit of olive oil. So this is the final product. This is with all the heat. Fire, right? Bro, the f is next level. It's amazing. Cool. Very well balanced. When we were designing food, we wanted to make sure that it was meant to be shared. Beautiful. So the, the idea is that each bite will be very similar to the next. Yes. Wow. So what do you think? It looks like a drawing or no? I, 100%. It looks pretty good, yes, right? Absolutely. Okay, so this is a, a citrus jus. Okay. What's in the citrus um, jus? So it's made with a citrus gastrique, which is Beautiful. the zest of lemon, lime, orange, grapefruit. And the idea is like completely coated. And then so we have baby romaine, a watermelon radish, some fresh chilies, and then cilantro. Start with the romaine. So we build with the leaves and then, and then we, we add on top of that. So the idea is, is to kind of shingle it 
And then now we kind of add these. So the idea is I want to show this. And I put five, five of all these things on. This definitely looks like our sketch. Not bad, right? Yes. You know, I want people to like kind of work to get to the bottom of it yes. and, and kind of figure out. It's like discovery. Yeah, yeah exactly. Absolutely. Look at the precision. And then, yeah, this is the dish. Wow. Look at that. Let's go, chef. I can't wait to fight over this dish with you. <laughs> Let's get in no, there. There's enough to share. Fair. There's enough for us all. Okay. So what's the kind of perfect bite, you think? I don't know. It's, you know, like, realistically, you want to get a little bit of both. So okay. you have, like, the leg meat down here. Okay. A little dark meat. Little yeah, a little dark meat. meat. And then some of the breast meat up top. Okie dokie. And then the idea is, like, a balance of this stuff. Okay. Yeah. On the back of the palate, you have, you know, the citrus from the hot sauce. You have the citrus from the marinade in the chicken. And then you have this really bold, bright, upfront lemon vinaigrette yeah. that has a nice, pleasant acidity to it. And then the killer radish texture, this kind of freshness, yeah. little peppery. It's really, really lovely. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, of we, course. it's, uh, like I said, man, we love it. I'm happy to show this to you. I'm proud of it. And yeah. People love it. I bet. Amazing. Winner. Winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>